Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, sorry, I uh, starting a couple minutes late on this broadcast. I was just finishing up a couple of talking points for um, what I wanted to share with you. So, wow, it's amazing how I'm. You know, I started doing these broadcasts, and I was terrified of getting on camera. And it's amazing. You, you still like every time I go live, I still get like, like my heart starts beating really fast and I'm like, get all nervous and stuff. Um, anyway, so here I am. Thank you so much for those that are jumping on. Um, it is a pleasure to be here with you today. And um, what I wanted to talk about. So for those that are jumping on, go ahead and uh, drop in the chat where you're from. And uh, let me pull up my little spreadsheet. So um, the food in the center of the store, um, ingredients I look for and avoid even in products marketed as healthy. And so the reason for this broadcast is um, I was actually doing some grocery shopping the other day and I'm really conscious. I always look at the ingredients and, um, you know, I buy organic, non-GMO, everything. But I was looking at something that I normally, I was actually looking for some granola that I had some granola when I was in Sedona and it was, it was amazing. I mean, everything in the ingredients were like super healthy. It was a sprouted granola. It was great. Um, but I ran out of it and I went to, um, the grocery store here in Athens, Georgia and, uh, just a regular grocery store in Ingalls and they didn't obviously have anything that was that that was something that I would buy and I was looking at the ingredients even in food that's marketed as organic non-gmo and the ingredients were organic canola oil um or non-gmo canola oil and safflower oil and sunflower oil and soy oil and that's these oils are not healthy oils. Vegetable oil is not healthy oil. And so I'm not, I'm sorry, my phone's going off. I'm confused as to why um, companies that are supposed to be health food are putting these oils in their products. Why is it that, you know, they're not using the healthier oils? I mean, I really deep down, I know why, because it's, you know, it's cheaper. And, um, you know, all of this, the companies that are doing it right, uh, they're not, they're not advertised, you know, you don't, you don't see that stuff. It's like word of mouth stuff. You know, the stuff that's advertised is, is, you know, it's all intentional to keep us to keep us sick. That's what it's, that's what it's about. So I just wanted to I had to obviously educate myself on this. Now I know intrinsically that safflower oil is not healthy. I didn't know why it wasn't healthy, but I wanted to find out for myself and share that with everyone. So I did a little bit of research. I know how to find credible information and how to look through uh, studies. So I put something together for you guys and I will be reading a little bit and kind of like, going back and forth. So if you do um, join in on the chat and I, you know, I'm going to be switching back from screen to screen while I'm reading. So just bear with me and I will get to whatever comments you have or question you have. So vegetable oils, okay. Safflower oil, soybean oil, canola oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, uh, sunflower oil, and peanut oil. So I didn't even know I know what healthy oils are and I had to do a little bit of research to find out that uh, vegetable oil is actually made from plant sources like seeds and nuts, while olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil are made from the fruit of the plant. That's, I learned something new. I didn't know that coconuts were a fruit. Um, I knew avocados were a fruit, but I didn't know olives were a fruit. So that that's, Pretty cool. Um, vegetable oils can actually have many adverse effects on your health. Um, the unstable, unsaturated fats found in vegetable oils oxidize when heated. And uh, this makes them really toxic to body tissue, 
most definitely triggers inflammation in the body. Inflammation is actually the underlying cause of disease. And that's my professional opinion. Um, you know, I'm sure that people can argue that point, but it's it seems to be um, an issue in everything. Inflammation. Um, of all of these oils that I have listed, safflower oil is perhaps the worst. And see, I'm singling this specific oil out because I realized it is listed in food products marketed as healthy and or organic non-GMO. It's in everything. I mean, everything. And so this is what really triggered my, okay, this is unhealthy because it's in everything. It's, it's, it's just a damn shame. So... Um, here's a quick look at the claims that safflower oil is good for your metabolism and inflammation. So I've done, obviously, doing my research and, and everything mainstream um, shows that safflower oil is good for your health. So anything that just pops up, like if you're doing if you're doing research and you're um, the stuff that comes up first, you really have to look for the truth these days. If, if you're not aware of that. I'm telling you right now, you have to dig for the truth. If what you're seeing everywhere is saying that things like this, safflower oil is healthy, you might want to look a little bit deeper. And, and don't be afraid. I know the studies can be a little complicated, they're, um, the way that they're worded, but don't be afraid to find a, a study and actually read through it. You know, um, you, you might learn something. So... Um, the first claim is that safflower oil improves metabolic health. People in favor of vegetable oil often reference a 2011 study published in Clinical Nutrition. And this study found that safflower oil improves metabolic health. But here's a closer look. When it comes to statistics, size actually does matter. Small studies aren't powered to detect meaningful changes. And this study was a very small study. Only 27 women completed the first supplementation trial for safflower oil and only 13 the second. Because of the small size, the drop in blood sugar reported in the study could very, e very have easily been a fluke. Uh, claim two, safflower oil reduces inflammation. Chronic inflammation is a low level immune response that appears to underline many common health problems, cancer, body fat, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, et cetera, and they're all linked to inflammation. Researchers looked at inflammation in the pro safflower study, measuring an inflammatory marker called C-reaction protein, CRP. It was reported decreased with safflower oil supplementation. But when you look at the data tables, CRP actually went up in the larger safflower group of 27 women. Only in the other much smaller group of 13 women did it decrease. Furthermore, a research review found that eating more linoleic acid, which is the main component of safflower oil and most vegetable oils, increased inflammation instead of decreasing it. Okay, all of this brings me to the point, okay, where health food, health food is marketed, um, is marketed in such a way um, that you don't even look at the damn ingredients on, on the back of the label. So food in the center of the store is not actually food, it's food products right? It's processed. Everything in the center of the store is manufactured with chemicals and gums and preservatives. It's not food. Your body doesn't recognize it. And so for people that are like having trouble losing weight, um, you know, all of these chemicals that you're taking in, your, your fat cells actually store chemicals. So if you're having trouble losing weight and you're like, oh, I eat healthy, um, you might want to look at the things that you're eating. You know, if you're eating food products, um, your body is actually protecting your internal organs and storing those chemicals in your fat cells. <sighs> another, another thing, where's my talking points at? Uh, food is being processed. So, you know, everything 
I went through that pretty fast. That's crazy. All my talking points. I went through all of that really fast. You know, when it comes to, you have to take your health into your own hands and um, really becoming aware of the ingredients that you're putting in your body um, is the first step. You know, it's, this is a long process. I've been doing this for 10 plus years and um, I still don't have it down 100%, but I have made great strides in my health and in my awareness of what I am eating. Food is, is meant to be fuel for your body. And we, you know, we tend to eat to feel better about ourselves. We eat when we're stressed. Um, we eat because we're bored. We eat just because it says that it's time. You're like, oh, look, it's lunchtime. I need to go eat. Sometimes you're not even hungry or sometimes you think you're hungry and you're actually thirsty. Um, you need to start, you know, detoxing your body, paying attention to what you're doing and detoxing, just drinking more water and moving. Your body will detox naturally. You know, the movement. So we have this lymphatic system and it doesn't move on its own. Like we have our blood vessels. We have our heart that pumps and moves all the blood through our veins, but we don't have a pump moving the lymph, the lymphatic uh, fluid through our veins. So you actually have to move your body, exercise, stretch, you know, yoga, whatever it takes. And, and also there is um, if something called a foam roller and you use it for self myofascial release. It can be painful. You can get one of these foam rollers um, at Walmart, Amazon, um, whatever, whatever is more convenient for you. But then that suck that you have to order it from these like big stores. I don't even want to put my money to those places anymore. But unfortunately, that's that's what we have right now uh, until until, you know, something else comes up. But if you have like a small business that's selling that stuff, I definitely recommend, you know, going to the small business for things as opposed to the larger stores. Let's, you know, keep from giving them our money. But a foam roller is really good. Um, and I do that every day, rolling my muscles out. Um, and I can post uh, in the description some information about that for everyone. I'm also going to be dropping the link for this study that I'm referencing that you can go in and look at it yourself. And so I gave you like a quick overview of the information for safflower oil and other oils, but I'm actually going to be posting um, a full length uh review of safflower oil on my blog and you can check out my blog by going to my website it's fitmomonfire.com right here um, you can also subscribe to my emailing list and get notifications for when i do these lives i plan to do some more regular lives there's a lot of people that i watch on these super channels and uh they are they are like my my sanity and I go to them. I it's almost as if I need to I need to hear what they have to say every day. And so I feel that calling to be more regular in what I am what I'm putting out there for people because because I need it from other people. So I'm sure that, um, you know, there there are th people want to hear what I have to say. I know there are people out there that want to hear what I have to say and, and I want to share it and I want to be there. I want to start holding space for everyone and, and being able to disseminate the information that I have. Dom, peace, respect, health, happiness, and love. Thank you, yes, same to you. It, I'm not on very often. Um, I've been on a few times. I do have, uh, I'm not sure which, which uh, channel you're coming in from, but um, I do have, what are they called? Playlists. I have playlists on the super channels and it's under fit mom on fire. So I have a few other videos, but I, I plan to start doing more regular videos because um, this is like medicine for me to be able to get on and talk, talk to people and share this information. Like I'm, I'm a certified personal trainer. I was certified in, in 2015. And I've, you know, I've made a career out of this. I'm kind of transitioning into spiritual coaching because, you know, as a personal trainer, I started, I started my career out because I wanted to transform my body. I wanted to look sexy. And, uh, 
And then I started realizing that, you know, the body matter follows energy. So the issues that you're having in your body actually stem from a spiritual issue. And so anything that you do physically is just putting a bandaid on it and you need to address it from all three pillars, mind, body, and spirit. When I say mind, I really need like, you know, our thoughts and our emotions that we generate. But um, yeah, so I started doing this and, and I'm transitioning into coaching and and uh, then, then, you know, we had had the lockdown and the gyms closed and and I'm like, well, I guess I have to do something different. And this, you know, I've been watching a lot of a lot of these people that are on the, you know, like spiritually raw. I, I've been watching them for a long time and it just it just clicked. You know, I've been wanting to do this channel. I've been afraid of getting on and, you know, talking on camera. And so we have like this ego that like we want people to see us a certain way and um it's it's you know fear of being judged and, and i'm at this point where i don't i don't give a shit anymore you know if you don't like me turn off the the video and go to another video but um <sighs> we're all in this together kitty get down off the counter my cat she uh she eats my dog's food and then and then she gets sick. I don't know what her deal is, but she's always up on my counter. So mind, body, spirit. I look at it more as body, mind, spirit, because it has to be. I think for people that are not awake, hitting it from that perspective, body first, because that's what uh, attracts people. You know, they look in the mirror and they're like, my body, you know, I need to fix the way I look. And then they can, then you can start like working on their mindset and then I can transition them into a spiritual perspective and understanding that matter follows energy and any issues that you're experiencing in your body stem from something that you need to address that you've been stuffing down. Hello, Brenda. Don't forget what about what? Hold on, let me read that again. What is this? Um, heck nine two three. What is what is it that you're talking about? I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. I've never heard of that before. But yes, you definitely need to. Uh, you need to look at. You need to look at what's in your refrigerator. You need to look at what's in your pantry. Uh, if you're trying to, you know, transform your body, you get fit in the gym but you lose weight in the kitchen and you know, your health stems from what you, what you're eating and you do absolutely need to look at what's in your refrigerator and what's in your pantry and don't be afraid to throw shit away. I don't care if you just bought it or not. I mean, you know, we're all conscious of, of our bank accounts and you know, I'm transitioning into this bun abundance mindset and, and I don't want to have fear of lack anymore because I've realized that even though I've been low income all my life, spirit always provides me with what I need when I need it. So, you know, first of all, you know, don't go to the store and buy things that are unhealthy. Um, as a rule of thumb, healthy food is produce. Um, basically produce. I mean, I'm on like this plant based. Um, lifestyle, but I do eat some animal products. And if you're still eating meat, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no, there's no like one diet fits all, you know, you have to listen to your body. What is your body telling you? If you want to eat meat, if you want to eat steak, go eat a steak. You know, don't like you tend, people tend to like I do beat myself up over. I really want this, but I know I shouldn't have it. And uh, you know, it's all about your state of being. So if you're really distraught about not being able to eat a certain thing, go eat it, you know, and get over it and, you know, start fresh after that, you know, go, okay. You know, don't completely deprive yourself of things that you enjoy. Just it's all in moderation. And then you start to realize like I do um, whenever I eat things that, that are not good for me, my body tells me. And um, I went to Florida I went to Florida. I had a, just just uh, the first two weeks of April. And within those two weeks, I was in Sedona and had like a strictly high vibration diet. It was amazing. When I went back to Florida with my family, um, 
I kind of got out of eating healthy. And then like the last day that I was there, I ate out at a restaurant for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And let me tell you, when I got home, I was, I had diarrhea, like really bad. And I was throwing up like my body purged that crap so fast. I can't, I can't eat those things anymore. So I have to be careful and you'll start to realize those of you that know about the energy shifts going on, the energy on the planet is rising. It's making us, our bodies are changing. And the things that we have always eaten, the things that we grew up eating, you know, hell, you could have just enjoyed these foods without any issues, without any noticeable issues a year ago, but now you can't. Now you're starting to have, you know, uh, digestive issues. Or, you know, like when I eat red meat, my head hurts so bad. I feel my vibration drop so fast and I get a headache. So, I mean, you got to listen to your body and start paying attention to those little subtle um, signals that your body's giving you. You know, um, I don't notice really uh, anything with dairy. You know, I know a lot of people have, you know, like it's on a spectrum of lactose intolerance. And... Um, I don't notice any issues with dairy, but with with wheat, I do. So I do gluten free a lot because I can't I just and it, nothing's diagnosed. I don't go to the doctor and let them diagnose me or put me want to try to put me on on medicine. I don't I don't need them to tell me that I'm healthy or unhealthy. And in fact, doctors, they have they don't know health. They know disease. They know sickness and they are only practicing. And so it's I'm not saying it's bad to, to, you know, see your doctor, but you want to be informed and don't just go off of what your physician is telling you. Do your own research in everything, in health, in politics, in everything. Do your own research. And that's what this whole movement is about, empowering people to go find out for yourself everything. Confidence and determination, discipline too. It's important. It's important to be able to do this, to have confidence, com competence, <laughs> confidence and determination and discipline. I'm not sure what you're referring to when you left that comment, but yes. Um, I, I'm like that, uh, like ADHD, like squirrel. And then I forget what I was talking about, but we were talking about health and nutrition and and, um, you know, what's in your, your pantry and, and don't be afraid to throw things away. And, you know, if you have any questions about, you know, what you, sh what, what is healthy, you know, what you should eat. I mean, it's, it's stick to the basics, you know, the things that are, that are natural things that are fresh grown, you know, find a farmer's market in your area because the, the local stuff is way more beneficial for you than stuff that say comes from clear across the country or another country. Um, fruits and vegetables, uh, nuts and seeds, soaked legumes, um, and then animal products. You know, if you're still, if you're still eating dairy, um, I, I do have like dairy creamer in my coffee because I've tried the other creamers and they just, they just don't cut it. You know, um, coconut creamer just does not cut it, but I do use dairy creamer. I use like a lactose free. Um, I use ghee. I don't use, I do use butter sometimes, but so like the healthy oils that, um, are staples in my kitchen, because this whole broadcast was about safflower oil, the oils that I use regularly. Um, I use a lot of ghee. Ghee is amazing and it has activator X in it and it, it can actually help decalcify your pineal gland. What it does is that the activator X is like vitamin K2. Vitamin K2, it actually helps to move the calcium that so like your pineal gland is calcified, it will move that calcium to where it needs to go your bones and teeth and nails. Um, so you definitely need a lot of vitamin K2 and uh, ghee hat is very high in vitamin K2. Also egg yolks, the deeper orange egg yolks. Um, and, you know, it's funny because I buy, this is totally off topic. I buy eggs from the store and they're really, really orange, but I, I have chickens and uh, I'm trying to get my chicken egg yolks to be really orange. So I was doing research on it and it's what you feed them. 
um, that that makes it that color. It's not necessarily nutrition content, but if the if the chickens are really really healthy, they're going to have a deeper orange color. If they're eating a very organic natural diet, they're going to have really orange yolks. So like they're not vegetarians. They eat bugs and worms. I love it when you look at the egg cartons and it says vegetarian fed. Chickens are not vegetarians. Um, they can eat they can eat stuff, but, and they eat grass and, and, um, I give them all of my scraps from my vegetables and, and it's like the greens, like kale and stuff, uh, alfalfa that makes their egg yolks really, really orange, but you gotta be careful about what you buy in the store. Um, there's one brand it's called happy eggs that I had, they're like $5 a, a dozen, but you know, I look at, that's where I spend all my money. I spend all my money on my health because that is the most important thing to me. I don't go out even before, you know, everything was shut down and our world changed. I wasn't going out and doing things. I wasn't going out to eat. I wasn't going, you know, to like concerts and partying at bars and I stay home. I work out and I eat healthy and all my money goes to my food and my supplementation. So, um, the other oils that are that are really, really good for you. So we have ghee. That is a staple. Um, it can be, you know, you can cook with it um, at very high heat. Uh, so it's it doesn't break down and oxidize like the vegetable oils do. So it's not toxic for you. Um, the other ones I have. So the high heat is the ghee. And then the other high heat would be coconut oil is really good. I do a lot of things that are sweet with coconut oil. I do, I use ghee and an avocado oil, which is a medium heat um, oil. And then olive oil that you do not want to cook with it. You want to use olive oil for salads because it is a low heat oil, it, the smoke point. So um, if you heat that and it starts smoking, it's very toxic. Any oils, you don't want them to burn. You don't want to heat them up too, too much to where they're smoking. So just a rule of thumb when you're cooking with those, um, very cook them, you know, at a very stable, you know, medium temperature. I love pistachios. Pistachios are yummy. The only thing that I don't like about pistachios is that um, it's hard to get them out of the shell. Like it takes just like sunflower seeds. It's a little bit better than sunflower seeds, though, but um, it's, it's hard to get them to pop out. And then you have the ones that aren't cracked open and then you can't I have to throw those away because I'm not. I'm not going to bite them with my teeth. So, um, yeah. Does anybody, does anybody have any questions for me, you know, regarding nutrition or anything? I mean, chime in, you know, let's, let's keep this going. It's I'm having fun. Are you having fun? It's Friday. You know, I woke up late this morning. I got to sleep in. Feels so good to not, I'm so blessed, you know, um, creating this, uh, abundance for myself. Again, I told you I was low income my whole life and I was a single mom for 10 years. And, uh, you know, I never thought that I was going to be able to turn my life around, but I started working on myself. I stopped, stopped getting into these toxic ass relationships. So if you look, I did an interview on Spiritually Raw and I did, I think it was terrible because I was really like tripping over my words and not remembering things properly about my past. And, uh, but anyways, you can, you can check out my story there. I think that I'm going to do another video and actually share my story myself. But, um, I've been in toxic relationships, you know, growing up, I was in a, my, my, my dad was abusive, uh, emotionally abusive and physically abusive. And, um, you know, you, it's statistically, you end up in a relationship just like that. And, and I did, and I ended up in prison because of that relationship. And then when I got out, I had a kid from the same guy that I went to prison for. And, uh, you know, it just, and then, then when I finally got out of that relationship, you know, I kind of started getting my life together and ended up in another toxic relationship, but it was, a, it looked a little different from the outside. Um, but I, I finally got my life together. I left and left the state. That was the only way I could get out. I got to go to work in a couple of hours, but the sun is shining and I'm breathing. That's, that's an amazing thing to be grateful for. Um, breathe, focus on your breath. Breath is so important. 
always bring your attention back to your breath. Um, and the sun, you know, get out and just let the sun hit you in your face. It, it feels so good. Um, but my story is, is just so crazy. And uh, I, I look at my life now and I manifested this. You know, I have, have made I have made a life around putting my health and my well-being as my top priority. You know, I have I have manifested the a very healthy relationship. And like I said, I was a single mom for 10 plus years. And now I have two new babies and there are babies like I gave birth January 1st, 2021 or 2020. And then I gave birth February 18th, 2021. So I have two very small babies right now. And um, and and just, you know, I, I look at my life and I'm like, this is I get to live this life. And I'm so grateful for it. And I'm so grateful for all of you, you know, coming here and, and spending this time with me and giving me this platform to be able to share this information with you. Because being able to um, speak about, you know, your past or just or just, you know, to kind of like give all this information on the airwaves, it's healing. It's very healing, you know, to to talk about your story, things that I, I I've never shared, you know, my story like this with a with you know god it's i'm on i'm on youtube like this is live like anybody can see this and uh at, at first it was really nerve-wracking but um i have to i have to rein myself back in like this is this is it this is my life and it's amazing and we are together we are creating an amazing place to live you know, we're transitioning out of this old way of being and coming back to we are all in this together and there's no competition. And we need to, you know, reach out and help people. So like all of this information I have, like I'm sharing it with you. I'm not getting paid for this. I want to help. I want people to know the truth about the power that they have intrinsically to turn their life around. You hold all of the power. Your health is in your hands and you have to stop listening to the people that are in authority, right? That are telling you, you know, what health is and what health isn't, you know, intrinsically what health is and you know that there's something wrong with, you know, gas, having gas excessively and, and, and discomforting your stomach. And, you know, there's issues with the, the stuff that we're eating, those preservatives and gums, Look them up, look up side effects and you'll see that, look, all of these side effects, all of these things that you're experiencing are actually side effects from the preservatives and the gums and the chemicals that are in the processed food that are marketed as health food that you're eating or not health food. Uh, maybe you're eating conventional stuff. I really, really hope that's not the case. I really hope that um, people are, are are starting to really, you know, become aware of the things that they're that they're ingesting because it, it is so important. Yes, pay it forward. And we're we are we're all in this together. It's it's so important for us to stop looking at at it like it's me versus you. It's us versus them. We're we're all in this together. There's there's really only one of us here. I know that that might sound really weird, but this is something that I'm coming to realize. And, uh, and I love it, you know, um, being able to help. I'm a light worker. I, I, uh, you know, there's someone that I, I can't remember his name that I'm following. He's on these channels too. He's a uh, Reiki is this guy that does Reiki. And uh, he said, you know, do do whatever you can. If you're a light worker, you need to be sharing that light and love and do whatever you can to start raising the vibration of the planet. And, you know, if you're watching this and and you, you know, are on the fence about, you know, you want to start a YouTube channel or you you don't know what you can do and you, you maybe you want to start a YouTube channel. Um, I definitely suggest that you do it. You know, now is the time and 
this it's a movement this is a movement i'm looking at everything going on on youtube like all of that stuff with all of the people that i that i was watching they they were censored and they were scrubbed off of youtube and now it's all these other people are coming and starting youtube channels start your youtube channel let's take over this thing you know and i actually i'm not on other platforms i'm on facebook i'm on instagram I have, you know, a gab, I have, I have a huge tube, but I, if there's, they're not really user friendly. And so I don't use them, but I do need to start putting stuff on there too. Cause my God, if they, if they take me off of here, then I'm going to go, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Engage Drakey. Yes. Engage Drakey. He is awesome. He's awesome. I had to read it. It takes me a second sometimes. Um, I just watched him. He was on with, what is his name? Sean Morgan, which I absolutely love Sean Morgan. Uh, Sean Morgan was on his show and I watched it and they, um, there was some stuff that they said that just really brought me back to, wow, thank you. Like I needed to hear some of that stuff. And then he did another one or it was one before that where he was doing the Reiki session or, it was like a deep breathing session. And I was like, oh, I need to do this. Like when I was in Sedona on my spiritual retreat, we did a, a deep a, um, breath work and uh, it is very, very powerful. And so I've noticed a lot of times I catch myself holding my breath and I'm like, what is wrong with me? We, we restrict and we tense up and we don't breathe. And, uh, I, if anybody here knows David Wilcock, I follow David Wilcock and he did a show with Danny and Brinkley. Uh, Danny and Brinkley is the author of what is that book? I know I can't even remember what his book is, but I have it in here in, in my audible. Cause that's, I don't have time to read. I listen to books when I can, because uh, reading them, reading them is a little, a little bit uh, too too much for me. What was his book? And for some reason, I can't find it. I'm sorry. Forgive me, guys. For, oh, Saved by the Light by Danny and Brinkley. Really good book. So on the broadcast um, that uh, David Wilcock did with Danny and Brinkley, he, I remember this. And I was just like, every time I, I'm not breathing, I always go back to that. He said or pay attention to your breath. He said it the whole broadcast, pay attention to your breath. He kept coming back to that. You need to be, he was like really trying to drill it into people's head. You need to pay attention to your breath. I mean, that's what this whole, you know, thing was about. They're, they're restricting our oxygen. We need this. This is the breath of life and we need to be breathing in. And this is where consciousness comes from. Breathe, focus on your breath, quiet your mind, still be still. So for those of you, again, I am like all over the place. I want to um, kind of put a call out there for, for people that I have this channel. So um, if you are on the, I have there, I'm on three collective channels right now. So we have the collective super channel and we have the quantum super channel. And then, so I'm also streaming to my super channel, which is the holistic moms super channel. Ladies um, and gentlemen, but, but specifically for people that want to join my super channel, say you have a YouTube channel or you want to start a YouTube channel and you have a message and you don't really know where how to how to get started i want to extend an offer to you to join my super channel and and let me show you everything that i know about these broadcasts i mean you see i'm using um this really cool app application that you know has these words on the bottom i could put my name i could put my i can't even do this my uh, logo up here and this allows you to stream to multiple channels. I want to, I want to show you the ropes and basically teach you everything I know and get you started so that you can share your message because together we can raise vibrations, heal hearts and humanity. That's what this is all about, right? And I'm also wanting to reach out to ladies and gentlemen, um, 
if you uh, are interested in in coming on my show and doing it, let me interview you. If you have a message to share or a story that you want to share, and this would be amazing for me to be able to bring people on and interview them and get you started that way. I would absolutely love, love, love that to connect with me. Shoot me an email um, my at my Gmail, and this is my Gmail right here, fitmomonfire at gmail.com. Email me your information and we will connect and uh, get you on. And I'm super excited about all of this. Whew, this was a, a very, it, it goes by when you start talking and uh, sharing information, it goes by pretty fast. I have had so much fun uh, being on here. And for and Dom, thank you so much for, you really like dominated the chat. And I'm very, very grateful for you being here. Brenda, thank you so much for, for jumping on and joining in. Um, it, means, it means so much to me. I haven't been very good in my previous broadcasts about um, addressing the comments as they come in, but um, this I watch other shows and I'm like, they do this. It seems stream, uh, seamless for them to be able to, you know, talk and, and you know, uh, chat with people and and you know share their information and you know stay on point. So I'm like I can I can do this and you know being on being on hemp work CBD makes a huge difference. It has for me in my life. Um, yeah. So if you wanna if you wanna learn more about hemp work CBD, I've also got some information in the description below. You can check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and close the broadcast. Thank you again so much for joining me here, and I hope to see you all back. Um, I'm, I don't have a regular schedule at this point, um, but I want to start putting together a regular schedule program and maybe even expand from there. Thank you. I have felt that about about myself for a long time. I knew that I just needed to get on and just start doing it. And uh, it's, it's amazing. So I love everyone. Thank you for being here. We are all in this together and I will see you guys next time. If you're interested in um, getting a notification for my broadcast, go to my website. I'm going to share that with you again. It's Fit Mom on Fire. Uh, it's fitmomonfire.com and join my emailing list and I will um, start sending out notifications um, a day before the broadcast is scheduled so that you can um, stay in the know on that and, and don't miss the live broadcast. Again, thank you for being here. I love you so much and I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing Friday and an amazing weekend.